YouTube, what's going on? So, I guess I'll start by saying, what are we at? July 22nd? And I've done one video this month, so I apologize for that. I've had a lot of stuff going on lately, uh, this month, and uh, just haven't been really feeling the uh, diecast. So, um, anyways, I have the day off work, just doing some chores around the house, and thought I would break out this collection to do a quick uh, glance over. Uh, this is Tomica Limited Vintage. Tomica Limited Vintage Neo is easily my favorite stuff to collect. It's high-end stuff, very highly detailed. It's fairly expensive. Um, you know, this collection, if sold individually, would probably probably bring somewhere in the neighborhood of like around 1800 which you know it doesn't really matter because i don't collect for monetary purposes um but just to give you an idea uh they come in little boxes these are not <clears throat> these are not commercially available in the united states um they are made for the japan market <clears throat> excuse me but through uh Vendors like the Toy Pimp and uh, even other resellers are starting to bring them in. So it makes it easier to get them. But they're still expensive. So we'll start with this uh, little row of European cars. There are some European castings I don't have. Uh, like, for example, the Coupe Dino. Um, the Volkswagen Golf. There's a BMW two-door that I don't have. The Golf is available in a two-door and a four-door. I don't have either of those. Um, I know I'm missing some. The European cars can be pretty expensive to get. But I do have the Audi. I've got the Lancia, Alfa Romeo, BMW. This is probably... The most expensive of all of these cars right there uh, this is also one of the more expensive <clears throat> and then i just kind of have them divvied up by brand <coughs> sorry man i got a frog in my throat all right so we have some uh some rx7s here It's just recently that TLV has gotten into the more modern stuff, which, uh, you know, some of which I do have, like the F40, the uh, third gen RX-7. There's a late 80s Subaru Legacy. It's fairly modern. Mid-1980s Toyota Supra. You know, early on, TLV was all about the vintage Japanese stuff. They have a great lineup for Nissans. I think their Nissan catalog is probably their best catalog. <clears throat> so we've got a, a Nissan Junior fire truck, Nissan Bluebird. Got a handful of Skylines in here. Starting with the R33, we've got a Japan Skyline, we've got a Hakoska Skyline, we've got a Ken Mary Skyline, uh, Ken Mary Skyline van. If you're into the uh, GTR Skylines, then Kyosho is probably going to be a little bit better for you because they don't do GTRs. Uh, they do the R35, which isn't a Skyline, but... This is the best vintage Z tooling in the scale. I think that's pretty, I mean, I, I, I think you can objectively say that this is the nicest vintage Z casting in one to 64. It's way nicer than the Kyosho 
it's way nicer than the Konami. It's way nicer than the green light or the M2. Some other Nissan stuff. Safari. Nissan Toronto. So none of these were available in the US. Uh, well, there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, none of these were available in the US, which I think is partly why they're not all that popular to collect in the US. This is a Nissan Leopard. It was available as an Infiniti. I think it was an M30 in the late 1980s. Uh, also, the Nissan Prairie was available in the US as a Nissan Stanza wagon. And then the Toronto was known in the US as a Pathfinder. But outside of those three, none of these Nissans were commercially available. Uh, the, this one might have been, but it would have been a different configuration. You know, this one's a right hand drive. I know the 240Zs were available here, so I'm pretty sure the 260s were. But most all of this is Japanese exclusive. Same thing with the Toyotas. Um, you know, we did get the Supras. We did get some of the Corollas and the Celica. But most of this stuff was not available here. And then for Honda, they don't do a lot of Honda stuff. So here's what we got. We have an EK9 Civic Hatch Type R, a little Honda Prelude. And that's about it. Really nice Toyota Century. I need to count the cars because that would give me a better. All right, hang on. Radio silence here for a minute. Okay, so there's 65 cars here. Average, let me get my calculator, although I probably don't need it. I would say average selling price, 35. So 60 at 30 is 1,800. So what is that, 1,950 bucks? So it actually might be closer to two grand with a $30 average, which I think is more than fair considering cars like the F40 is about a $100 car, the BMW is about a $100 car, the Dino is about a $60 car, the Land Cruisers in that 60 to 70 price range, the Toronto's in that 60 to 70 price range, the Safari's up there, both of these are up there. So I think a $30 average is more than reasonable so yeah a little two thousand dollar chunk and only going to increase in value that's one thing about tomoka limited vintage uh they really don't go down in fact when you look at diecast as a whole brands like auto world green light uh kyosho really none of it goes down it only seems to go up you know, that smoky Unix Chevelle from Talladega Nights is a $30 car right now, which is insane because I used to have probably a dozen of those. And that's a $6 retail price point. That's one big difference. This is about a $25 retail price point.
but it's a great brand. If you like detail, if you like accurate replicas, this is one of the best brands to collect. And it's a lot of stuff that you would see on the road, you know, it's not exotic stuff. These are everyday cars for the most part. All right, well, sorry about the lighting. Sorry about uh, the lack of activity on the channel. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I have a feeling it's going to start picking back up. But, uh, yeah, go out and get you some Tomica Limited Vintage. Obviously, it's expensive, but if you, if you can afford to collect Hot Wheels, you can afford to collect these. It's just uh, obviously a different scale, you know. I mean, if you're a Hot Wheels guy, you're a Hot Wheels guy, you, you know, you take your dollar cars. Personally, I'd rather have one of these than 25 Hot Wheels. All right, well, I'm going to get these put away. Thanks for checking it out. You guys all take care. And I will holler at the next video.